Hey everybody, welcome to week five of Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Lions alternate history. Today's matchup features the Detroit Lions versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Tampa Stadium. And as you take a look here at the uh, Lions' first four games of the season, you can see that um, we have lost the last two games uh, in overtime. We lost to the Browns by a field goal. Uh, after a turnover uh, deep in um, the Browns' territory. And then last week versus the Vikings, Gary Danielson uh, threw, <laughs> threw a uh, pick uh, that was uh, taken back for a touchdown. And we were on the verge of scoring. I guess I could have just kicked a field goal and probably won the ball game, but I got greedy. And, uh, I mean, Danielson was having such a great game. He had 347 yards passing, uh, but it was that uh, turnover that cost us. And now we go to Tampa, where it's going to be very challenging. You see Tampa Bay is laying uh, seven and a half points uh, to us today, which, uh, you know, we'll take it. Uh, if you're in the contest, uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah, here is um, the contest update through week four. You can see here that Sean... Uh, world's worst gamer uh, is three and one on the year. Everyone else is one and three. This week, it looks like Kent and John have taken Tampa, uh, giving up the seven and a half points and the over. And Don and Sean have taken Detroit plus the seven and a half and the over. So everyone is thinking over. And I wanted to mention that while I was prepping. Uh, for the game here, I was watching the scroll down here, and it had the top 10 defenses, as you can see, Billy Sims leading in rushing yards. It had the top 10 defenses in the NFL. The Bucks were number four, and the Lions were number five based on yardage. So um, maybe this could go under. I guess we'll have to play it out and see. So uh, before we get today's game started, um, I just want to remind everybody that there is a contest. There's two contests going on. The one here for the, the uh, for the uh, Billy Sims autograph jersey. Um, you're still eligible to get in on it. You're only three victories away from being in first place. So if you're watching this uh, series for the first time today, you can still get into the contest. All you have to do is pick um, for next week the over-under uh, and the uh, point spread. Okay, that's how that works. Additionally, we have a contest going uh, that started yesterday uh, for an opportunity to win uh, perhaps a Tony Gwynn rookie card, a Wade Boggs rookie card, or Ryan Sandberg rookie card. Uh, I'll have that contest information at the end of this video. Um, the, way, the Wade Boggs rookie card goes for like $1,700 in a PSA 10. The Ryan Sandberg rookie card goes for about two thousand dollars in a psa 10 and the tony gwynn uh rookie card goes for thirty eight hundred dollars in a psa 10 you could possibly win that so stay tuned after the ball game for that video okay here we go let's start um week versus the tampa bay buccaneers um oh look at that it sort of changed as we as i hit the start button now it says seven and 40 and a half points. I did make uh, two lineup changes. We'll show you that here uh, when we get into the game. So, okay. Kickoff from the Lions 35. So, are we kicking or receiving? Uh, we are kicking off, it looks like. Uh, yeah, obviously, here is the normal kickoff. So, let's get the game kicked off. And um, let's see if we can... Utilize those seven and a half points as Murray kicks it into the end zone for a touchback. I have a little bit of feedback here on my headset. Okay. All right. Click to continue. So we did make one defensive line change here. We moved William Gay to the uh, defensive end position. He's typically a defensive tackle, as you can see here on his football card. Um, but we did actually switch him over. To defensive end and because of that his ratings went down because he's playing a new position but he's still a better defensive end than uh purifoy was so we did improve our defense uh in that regard additionally 
I moved uh, Ray Oldham into the free safety position. He's normally been our dime back. And I swapped spots with uh, Jimmy Allen. Give Ro Ray Oldham a start um, at free safety today. Okay, here we go. So, now we know Doug Williams has the, uh, is the top yardage for a quarterback uh, in the NFL. So we have to assume they're going to come out and start passing, I think. So let's go ahead and start with a cover two zone blitz. Let's come right after him. Williams' is shotgun, good coverage on Jones, tucks the ball, runs upfield, and he is stopped at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Tackle by Luther Bradley. So a good guess coming right out and uh, stuffing Doug Williams. So now it's second and 10. Uh, I have a feeling that they're probably going to pass it again. So let's go ahead and bring in, uh, let's, let's uh, go to the nickel D. Williams to Mucker bobbled and dropped. Williams incomplete to someone named Larry Mucker. He is the fifth wide receiver. They were doing five wide. That's incredible. And now it's going to th third and ten. I don't think we have stopped a opening drive all season. We're going to do an all-out blitz. If they do a, um, a screen or a draw, we're probably in trouble. Here we go. All-out blitz. Williams in shotgun. Feeling the heat. Short pass to Davis. Intercepted by Luce, but he drops it. And there is a flag on the play. Pass interference for Hunter. Only three yards, but that will give him an automatic first down. Oh, no, wait, what? Third and three on the Buccaneers 17. Um, that doesn't make sense, right? Um, I don't, I don't understand how that... If somebody out there is smarter than me, tell me what that means. Because I don't... How could it be third and three after um, a three-yard penalty and an intercepted ball? How did they get seven yards? I'm not sure. Okay, but we have to just trust the, uh, the game is right here. Um, okay, now it's third and three. We're going to do... I mean, I still kind of feel like they're going to pass it here, right? So let's go ahead and do a 4-3 corner blitz. Keep the pressure. Hike to Williams. Gives to Equid up the middle, and he rushes for one yard. So we do end up stopping them as they punt it away. Fair catch by Arnold. And we've actually stopped the Buccaneers on the first drive. Not a bad job for us. I still don't really understand what happened there with that play, but it turned out okay as uh, the Lions have the ball on the 40-yard line. And uh, the one difference that I made to the offense is I switched out um, our center to uh, Wally Pesuit. Pesuit? I'm not sure if that's a French last name or what. Pesui? I don't know. Um, but he's getting the start today instead of... Um, Oh, I already forgot the uh, the backup's name. But the backup center, uh, the original starting center, he had four holding pen penalties already this year. And it shows that uh, Wally Pesui, his um, discipline is a 90. So I guess it's even, you know, he's less likely to uh, commit penalties. Okay, more importantly, let's get right to it. We're going to start off with a three-back set. I also did some... Um, Def, uh, some offensive play adjustments. Maybe we'll encounter them here before too long. Okay, let's go ahead and get things going. We're going to give it to Billy Sims, of course. Hand off to Sims. Wrapped up. He gets loose and gets six yards to the Lions' 46-yard line. Good start for Billy Sims. First, uh, second and four now. Uh, we're going to go back to the run play here. Um, I don't know why, but Rick Kane is involved in so many more plays. Uh, not because of me. This is one to uh, Dexter Bussey. Cuts to the right. Stopped at the 48-yard line for a two-yard gain. Their defensive line is uh, top-notch. And um, their cornerback, uh, their, uh, 
their secondary is also um, pretty tough to beat. So we're going to try to go with the run here. It's third and two. We are in four down territory, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and do a halfback draw up the middle. Third and two. Gives to Sims, runs it up the middle, grabbed by Collar. First down as Sims gets a five-yard gain. So we're moving it along into the Buccaneers' territory. Let's see if we can open it up to Freddie Scott here. Um, let's see if we can find a Freddie Scott targeted play. Here we go. Freddie Scott on this three-back dig. Yeah, dig. Here we go. Dorney makes a great block on Crowder. Scott leaps up and pulls it in. A 17-yard pass from Gary Danielson to Freddie Scott. And we are moving the ball. This is this is what I want to see. I don't think we've... We did score... Did we score first in the opening game? I think we did with a field goal. And then we got wiped out after that by the Bears. Okay, first and 10 on the Buccaneers. 30-yard line. You know, I always like getting David Hill into the action early. Let's see if he can catch the ball here on this out. Good coverage on Hill. He's always covered. He goes to Scott instead, and it's off his hands for an incomplete pass. So um, that did not work as well as we'd hoped. So let's go ahead and we're going to go a single back set. Maybe they'll think we're going to pass it when, in fact, and second and ten, we're going to go for a draw. They're blitzing. This is a good play for us. Oh, it's only a two-yard gain for Billy Sims. They they blitzed us, and we, ha we did a draw. That should have been perfect. Uh, instead, it is now third and eight. Um, a 45-yard field goal from here. So that's within range for Murray, but we sure do want to get the first down here. So we're going to try to do a Freddie Scott flag on third and eight. Here we go. Danielson on her center. Drops back past two. Scott caught at the 20-yard line. Just enough for the first down. Tackled by Lewis. Dave Lewis. So good job. Gary Danielson's looking pretty good these last two games despite uh, giving up the big interception in OT. All right, let's see if we can't um, maybe, yeah, here we go. This is a play that I drew up. It's a halfback trap, but we're actually giving it to the fullback. Um, let's see if this works. Danielson in the shotgun. And Bussy rushes for 10 yards. Okay, I am a genius when it comes to uh, designing plays, apparently. So good job by Dexter Bussy. He's got 12 yards on the day. We're down to the 10-yard line now. So it's really first and goal. Um, I think we need to... Um, let's do this quick go to Rick Kane. See if Kane can get open in the flat here. Kane makes the catch hit hard by Cotney. A six-yard pass to Rick Kane. He's been doing really great uh, in the receiving department. And plus, I think he's got 65 yards rushing this year. So we're down to the four-yard line, second and four. We're going to do a halfback toss to the left side, to the strong weak side, I should say. A three-yard rush for Billy Sims, and now it's third and goal on the one-yard line. And we're going to give it a draw up the middle to Billy Sims. Give us the touchdown. Hand off to Sims. He takes it in for the score. And it is seven nothing, Detroit. So we get on top. Touchdown by Billy Sims, looking pretty good there. Sixty-yard drive. As we kick off to the Bucks, uh, returns kick off thirty-two yards to his thirty-three-yard line. Uh, Norris Thomas. I don't know who, even know who that is. Okay. First and 10, so we came out and uh, we're going strictly with pass defenses. And that seemed to really work well. They're going to run it to Eckwood. He gets only a one-yard gain as Mendenhall, Mendenhall 
takes him down. So Jerry Eckwood, two rushes for two yards. Uh, he's, he has uh, 256 yards coming into this ballgame. He had nearly 700 last year. I think Ricky Bell was the go-to guy in 79. He was. He had almost, uh, well, almost 1,300 yards. So I don't know why he's not the featured back, but he isn't. Second and nine. Here we go. Um, I definitely don't think they're going to run the ball. Why don't we do a Tampa 2 squeeze? Do you think Tampa will recognize the Tampa 2? Gives to Eckwood. Solid hit by Oldman for a one-yard loss. That's why Oldman's in there. I feel like he's defensively a... I mean, the you know it's an equal rating between him and Jimmy Allen, but I kind of feel like he's an upgrade. So it's third and ten, and we are going to send everybody with 528 to go in the first quarter. Looking for a target. Oh! Oh my gosh! Look at that! A 66-yard pass to Eckwood. Holy cow! He dumped it off in the flat, and Eckwood almost took it to the house. Dropped at the one-yard line. That is quite a play. Wow. That is a that is a turn of events right there. We're going to stack the goal line here. Turns up field, and he's into the end zone. Ricky Bell getting the touchdown after Equid did all the work. And just like that, folks, the game is tied as Garo Yapremian kicks the extra point. Arnold's back to receive, and he's going to watch it go through the back of the end zone. So it's all tied at 7. And the over-under is 41 points, so um, <laughs> we're, we're on pace here, easily. Okay, um, we're going to we're gonna go back to running the ball, right? This is our bread and butter. Do a halfback toss to Sims. Out of, uh, rushes for six yards as Stalls makes the stop. So it's second and four at the Lions' 26-yard line. I don't know, like, how this plays if you're watching it. Like, is it boring to do all these run plays? I, I feel like, um, you know, we kind of have to stick to the run and then go with, um, you know, go with our boy uh, Gary Danielson uh, when it's convenient. Let's, try, let's do a pass here. Second and four. Let's see if we can get Leonard Thompson the ball early on. Doesn't have much time, and Danielson is sacked by Dave Lewis. Damn. That sucks. There's Dave Lewis, fourth season out of USC. That is his first sack on the year. Now it's 39, and we are in a passing situation. So let's go to our spread receivers. Um, gosh, I don't like any of these plays. Let's do bunched receivers. This is more like it. Okay, let's see if we can't... Um, well, everybody knows we're going to go to Freddie Scott. Let's try this corner to Freddie. Double coverage on Scott. Yeah, they did know that was happening. Deflected by Wood as Danielson chose to go to Freddy, and it was knocked down by Richard Wood. Dick Wood? What? That's You're making that up. Let's go ahead and punt this ball. All right, so we we blew it there. Or at least we didn't turn it over as Skuldaney... Uh, kicks a 39-yard punt. That's a short punt. Fair caught by Jones. And it's first and 10 on the Bucks 40. That's a bad punt. We don't need to give them any uh, additional incentive here. Um, so now I don't know what they're doing because uh, they're trying to run the ball and then that big pass into the flat. Let's, uh, let's presume they're going to come out and run here. And we'll do a short zone two gap. Try to keep everything under. He's in the shotgun. Giles is covered uh, as Williams decides to run with it. Solid hit, hit by McCray. Prentice McCray on the tackle. A four-yard gain. It's second and six now on the Bucks 44. Coming up to the two-minute warning here. So I guess we, in a sense we did guess right. They ended up, um, they ended up running the ball there. 
Let's um, let's do a nickel bracket cover two. I'm assuming they're going to pass. Oh, it's going to be a screen pass. Solid hit hit by Bradley as Williams rushes for nine yards. Wow. So Doug Williams tuck and run in here. How many rushing yards does he have on the year already? He's got 270 rushing yards, so he will pull the ball down and go with it. Okay, so it's first and 10. Now on the Lions' side at the 47. Um, okay, let's do a two-gap coverage here. I like how these linebackers just sort of are in that center zone. And the run to the left, only a one-yard gain for Eckwood. So we've contained Eckwood rushing. Second and nine. Um, I'm guessing pass again, but now they're throwing these screens. And um, I feel like we should maybe go with more of a balanced defense here. Let's do a cover two bracket just in case they go under. No, it's a quick toss. This is a good call on our part. Hit hard by William Gay. And Eckwood coughs it up as a pile, but the Bucks have it. It's a 10-yard gain. Come on. Eckwood coughed it up. He still got a first down. That's ridiculous. Good job by William Gay, though, forcing a fumble. That's why we got him in there. He is a, he is a slight upgrade. It's first and 10 to Lions, 36. Down to 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Um... All right, let's take a look here. Um, I have a feeling they're going to try to go with a pass. Let's start. Now they're a fullback fake flip. That's a one-yard loss, and, the, and it's also the end of the first quarter as Mendel, Mendenhall ran him out of bounds there. An I-form fullback fake flip. Why would Eckwood be the fullback if Ricky Bell is the fullback? I feel like they have some issues there with their... Um, with their play calling. So it's second and 11 at the Lions, 37 as we start the second quarter. Game is moving along. I feel like the last game was an hour and 17 minutes, so I felt like we, we cut off like 15 minutes in time. Um, okay, we are going to bring the house here. Um, you know what? We're going to do a nickel blitz just in case they're going to... Uh, yeah, they're going underneath. Spectacular catch by House. Almost a spectacular catch by House. He dropped the ball. Kevin House, no catches so far today. And Williams, when you think about it, one for three uh, for only 66 yards, just that one pass to Eckwood. So he hasn't been very effective today. Um, and we are definitely bringing everybody this time. If they go under, they go under. What are we going to do? It's a halfback toss. Oldham makes the tackle for a one-yard gain. Good job. Are they in field goal territory? They're going to try a long field goal. Oh, it's good. Come on, you premium. A 53-yard field goal. And the Bucks take the lead, 10-7. Caught by Arnold here at the one-yard line. He brings it back 22 yards to the 23-yard line. So Arnold, he has taken one back this year. And he gets 22 yards on that return. So, Lions have the ball. I'm afraid of a turnover right now. Um, let's come out throwing to Leonard Thompson on the slant. Trying to mix it up a little bit here before the half. Good coverage on Thompson. Dumped to Scott. Scott has it. And, wow, a 34-yard pass to Scott as uh, he broke loose from Mike Washington and uh, is down to the Buccaneers 43. So that's a good way to start off the drive. Okay, we're going back to the run game here. Let's do a... Uh, hmm. Let's do a half-back trap. I don't like that. I don't like Let's do... Here we go. Weak side blast from Billy Sims. Hand off to Sims, goes up the middle, wrapped up by Johnson. Only two yards gained by Billy Sims. 
So it's second and eight. We're not in field goal range here. We're going to go back to the um, weak side on this halfback sweep. Give him the ball to Sims. Tripped up at the 39-yard line for only a two-yard gain. Now it's third and six. All right. Um, man, we are not in field goal range. We have to pass it here. This is the situation that always gets us in trouble. Um, I feel like we need to do something short because uh, they're going to bring that defensive line. Um, here we go. Spread out receivers. Let's try to get it to David Hill underneath. Um, I feel like I say that and it never works, but we have to try it here. Here we go. David Hill. Gun 47. Lions in the shotgun. Pass to Scott. Goes out of bounds, a 16-yard pass. They didn't even bother to look at Hill. Hill. Why can Hill never get open? Let's take a look at David Hill here. He has eight receptions, averaging five yards a reception, and he's got no yak. He has got his two first downs this year. Um, but he's not even catching 50% of the balls that are headed his direction. But he's the best, um, he's the best tight end we've got. And also, uh, he was a pro bowler in 1979. More importantly, we're down to the Bucks' 23-yard line. We're in field goal territory. So let's not get too foolish here. Um, let's try... You know what? I'm, I am going to be foolish. Let's try this three back out. Now, I changed this play up so that it's a play to Hill on a streak. Let's see what he can do here. Drops back. Hill's covered, of course. Scott is open. Great catch by... Scott at the four-yard line, a 19-yard pass. Freddie Scott can do it all. He's got five receptions for 94 yards. We're going to um, – it's first and goal on the four-yard line. Let's give Rick Kane an opportunity here around the, um, the goal line. It's a fullback dive. Please don't fumble it. Turns up field. Hit hard, and he's in the end zone. A four-yard touchdown run for Rick Kane. Lions retake the lead as Murray kicks the extra point. It is 14 to 10 Detroit. That's 24 points. We are definitely on our way to going over today, uh, which I believe everyone chose, right? Yeah, everyone's got the over, so good job by you guys. And we are well within the 7.5 points. Um, so we're looking good. Okay, here we go. Normal kickoff to... Uh, no, let's take a look at this Norris Thomas guy. Um, oh, he is a cornerback and is averaging 21 yards in returns. Okay, here we go. Kick off, and it's a touchback, so Norris Thomas doesn't come into play. Um, I feel like we've done pretty good defensively. I mean, Doug Williams has only completed one pass. Um, and, I don't, and the run game is not great. So, uh, here we go. We're going to do a Tampa 2 squeeze using the balanced playbook here. Hand it to Eckwood upfield, and he only gets two yards as Mike McCoy brings him down. I'm looking at the uh, defensive stats here. Luther Bradley, three tackles so far. The only um, defensive player to register. Uh, enough tackles to uh, apparently show. So now it's second and eight. We have to believe they're going to pass it here. It says run. I don't think that's going to be th the situation. Let's actually go to a pass defense and the sideline prevent. Um, I like this play. I like keeping it underneath. It is a strong Y trail. As... Williams completes a pass to Haggins out of bounds at the 43-yard line. A 21-yard pass to Isaac Haggins. I don't know who this is. Oh, he actually has a card. That's Isaac Haggins for you. All right, that's the um, first completion to a wide receiver today for Doug Williams. And only a second completion overall. We're under 10 minutes to halftime. As uh, we're at the Buccaneers are at the their own 43-yard line, 
Okay, I have to believe they're going to run here. Um, there we go. Tampa 2 react. Oh, they're in the shotgun. It's, uh, but it's a handoff. Oh, it's a halfback counter. A four-yard gain for Eckwood. So it's second and six now for the Bucks. Um, I do believe they're going to pass it. We're going to do the we're going to do a nickel blitz. We're going to we are going to send them here. Uh, it's a counter actually. Opens up a big hole. First down on a 15-yard rush by Eckwood. So. Um, they're not actually passing here. They are running the ball more and more often. Um, I wonder if the game learns, you know, like as it goes um, to try to, uh, you know, counter what we're predicting on our end. That would be cool if it were, but I, I, I don't know that it does. Um, okay, let's do a 4 six, 46 drop. Uh, it is a halfback wheel. This is a good play for us. It's only a three-yard run as uh, Daryl Luce makes the tackle. We need a big play here from our defense. As it is now second and seven. Um, we're going to do, uh, we're going to, you know, go back to a, a, a blitz defense. This is the cover two corner blitz. They're going to run it. Davis has hit hard. Weaver brings him down on a two yard rush. Weaver leading the team in tackles. He's got three now today, as he now has uh, 27 total tackles so far this year. Okay, um, 8.14 to go, third and five. This is in between. It says a run defense. I think we're going to have to be smart about this. Um, Let's do this 4-4 stunt. I feel like we can keep them within five yards with that. Let's see here. Uh, it is a pass to the outside. Forced out of bounds, and they get just enough for the first down. Damn it. Good play there by their tight end. Wait, who made the catch? I thought it was their tight end. Maybe it was Eckwood. I'm not sure. It is a first down. First and 10 on the Lions. 28-yard line. We called the right play. They just got uh, barely enough yards. Okay, um, let's do an eight-man front here. It's a screen. This is good for us. Has trouble getting open past the house. Knocked down by Hunter. Pass defended by James Hunter. Good job, James. Second and ten now. Um, the Lions, 28. Um... I am actually really amazed at how much they are running the ball. Let's do a 5-2 cover. So we're all underneath again. Oh, they're going downfield, and it's a 10-yard pass to Haggins. That is a first down. So they're not even going to Kevin House. They're going to Isaac Haggins. Okay, so it's first and 10 now on the 18. Um... Yeah, I mean, I feel like I feel like we got to keep protecting the run here. Short zone, shotgun, double slip screen. He has space. It's a touchdown. An 18-yard pass to Jimmy Giles, and the Bucks are back in the lead as Yepremian gets the extra point. Arnold. Bad decision. Takes the kickoff 15 yards back to the 17-yard line. So it's 17-14. Wow, 31 points in the first half. Defenses have not been good. And this is the way things have gone for us. It really, it comes down to like turnovers. Um, and we did not have one in the last week's game. Uh, we did not create one. We had, f I think, five uh, of our own. Okay, let's get back to the run game here. It's good to know that we can pass if we need to. We're going to hand it off to Billy Sims. Runs with it around the right side for a five-yard gain. Sims now has 32 yards rushing. 
All right, second and five. It's almost like the um, defense has kind of figured out that we run so much because Sims did not have a particularly great game um, last week as Diederich has a false start penalty. That is the first penalty for the Lions today. It's going to make it second and ten. This game is not going to make it easy on us. Um, I think we need to pass here. I'm sure they think that too. I wish we had a... We just don't really have any screen plays. Um, let's try this bunch out play. Maybe we can slip it out to Billy Sims there in the flat. Here we go. We're looking at Leonard Thompson though. Good coverage on Thompson. Danielson heads up field and he gets stopped at the 17 yard line. Now it's third and 10 and we are in trouble. Now I have done <laughs> some really interesting things to the trick plays. I'm gonna this is a this is a bad play that I designed, but we have to try it right here. This is a bootleg option in which we throw it back across the field to our worst receiver, which is Ulysses Norris. If you see down in the left corner, he's our backup tight end. Let's <laughs> let's try it right here. In the most crucial part, I mean, I'm gonna look like a genius if we make this. If we if we don't, then uh, you know, my head's on the cho chopping block. Here we go, bootleg option to Ulysses Norris, backup, third and ten. Daniels is scrub. Oh, Norris is covered, and Danielson tucks it for a four-yard gain. Eh, Anticlimactic. We're going to have to punt it with four minutes to go in the quarter. That was a bad, bad call on my part. So here we go with the punt. Jones, Gordon Jones, back to receive a 42-yard punt. Returned nine yards by Jones, and they have it. Gosh, right at the. 46 yard line we have got to stop them here we've only stopped them once all day um, let's go ahead and do a two gap cover two it is a draw a one yard loss as Mendenhall stuffs them in the backfield good job by Mendenhall wait a minute so, with William Gay in there, why did, why do we have another defensive lineman? John Woodcock. He's not into the game. I'm not sure why they have him up there. Um, maybe he's the next man up if someone gets injured. Okay. Second and 11 on the Buccaneers. 45. All right. Um... We're going to do the nickel bracket cover two on second and 11. It's a flanker drive past the gills. And McCray knocks it down. This one's coming the bat. Come on. Roughing the passer on Mendenhall. A 15-yard penalty. This one's coming back. That's not the right phrasing for what happened there, but I get it. I get what they're trying to say. I need a drink of water here. I'm, I'm getting steamy. That's a real bummer, too, because John Mendenhall having a pretty good ball game, leading the uh, team in tackles. All right. Costly play. It's first and 10 now on the Lions' 40-yard line. This will bring up um, the two-minute warning. Let's... Um, Let's do a Tampa 2 react here. Oh, there's a two-minute warning right there. Okay. Uh, it's a misdirection. They run it inside, hit by McCray. Only a two-yard gain for Jerry Eckwood. It shows he has 101 total yards. But remember, he has that 66-yard um, screen play that was almost a touchdown. So it's second and eight on the Lions' 38-yard line. I, I mean, I think we got to stay underneath. Let's um, let's do this 
weak side dog here. We have this guy jumping up into the play. It is going to be a play over the middle. Williams is going to run with it, tackled by Weaver, and he gets a first down. He gets exactly the amount of yards he needs. Tackled by Weaver. All right, well, so we have to also keep in mind that we need to stay within seven and a half points, right? So, um, I mean, I'm not thinking that way. I'm trying to win the ball game, but, like, you know, for contest purposes, um, if you're watching this and you're participating, um, that's, that's our plan. It's a pass to Equa. He's in the clear. He goes out. Of bounds on the 16-yard line, a 14-yard pass to Eckwood. These screens, what is a defense for a screen? Is it a run defense? Um, because I, I was in a dime defense there, right? And so you're keeping all of these guys right in the zone. I guess the sideline prevent would have been better. I like prevent defenses. This is perfect. House has trouble getting over. Williams is going to run with it. Uh, he gets three yards. Steve Wilson is slow getting up. He's not coming back in. So Steve Wilson, who is the center, is going to be replaced by Jim Leonard, under 70 overall rating. So that is good for us. Second and seven. I still feel like we got to, we can't blitz them. They're, they're too smart for that now. Um, yeah, let's do this cover two. No, let's do the short zone two gap. Here we go. Uh, I know it's going to be a play to the sideline. Weaver brings him down as Williams rushes it for a yard. Wait a minute, Williams? Oh, the quarterback, Williams. Okay. I wonder how many rushing uh, attempts he has today. It's third and six. We need to stop him here. We need to keep it to a field goal. Um, we're going we're gonna to do a eight-man front and just trust our secondary in case they go for a pass. Uh, it is going to be a screen. This, this is a good play for us. He's got play. Oh, come on. We had that called perfectly. 12-yard pass to Kevin House. He takes it to the house. And it's 23-14. to 14. Make it 24 as your Premian kicks it through the uprights. And we're in real trouble now. I, this, is, this is not good. I don't know how to stop him on those screenplays. So now we have to come out firing, and that is not our strength. Um, only a minute to the end of the quarter. Um, okay, so let's, um, let's try to see if we can't get ourselves into field goal range at least. Snap to Danielson, incomplete to Scott. Okay, so this is how it's going to go. Um, Here's a spread corner. Hey, makes the catch, moves the chains, 18-yard pass. 45 seconds to go. Let's see if we can't get one to Thompson. He hasn't even caught the ball once yet today. There's an eight-yard pass to Thompson. We got to keep it moving here, though. Spread receivers. Let's try to do this flag play. Maybe get it to Scott out of bounds. Looking to pass, well covered, and he can't hold on to it. So that'll stop the clock. All right, well, we've got to take a shot here downfield with this Hail Mary. We've had some good luck with this, though. Let's see here. Back in the shotgun, lets it fly. Scott has it. 24-yard pass to Scott. We're going to go for the field goal. This will be a 47-yard field goal. Long step, it's up, it's Good! Yes, we get a field goal right before halftime. Wow. Great job by Gary Danielson. And here we go. Arnold is back. Hey, we get the ball here. So it's, um, let's take a minute here and look at the stats. Buccaneers, I don't know how they're doing it. 
They have 211 total yards. They're beating us in rushing somehow. Uh, and they are uh, four yards less than us in passing. Both offensive lines doing pretty good against the rush. We have nine first downs. They have ten. There's no turnovers. They do have a sack. That penalty by Mendenhall, that was a backbreaker. We're four for six on third down, so that's pretty impressive. All right, so we get the ball at our own 20-yard line and an opportunity here with a little luck to tie it up. Okay. Um, let's get out there and run the ball. We're going to start off with Dexter Bussey. They're not going to see that coming, are they? Hand it to Bussey, and he gets one yard. Oh, man. Johnson brings him down. Cecil Johnson. Second and nine. So they're just a really good run defensive team. Like, I haven't really felt like we've had any opportunity to break one here. Let's do this Billy Sims slant. This is our version of a um, pass into the flat. Sims can't get open and incomplete to Scott. If you can't get to your primary receiver, Scott is a good option. He's got seven receptions for 136 yards, and now we're in trouble already. All right. Let's uh, try to get Mike Freedy into the game. He was targeted once today. This is the one play that he has where he's a primary. Here we go. Trips could curl. Good coverage on Freedy. Bobbled, and he can't hold on. Colsey steps in front of it and picks it off. Pass to Hill, intercepted by Colsey. Wow. That sucks. All right. Well, so we are at 41 total points. So this game is going over, right? Um, 41. So we're, we're, it's a push right now. Um, so we, there needs to be one more point scored for it to be officially be over. That feels very likely, doesn't it? You know what? Um, we need to force a turnover here. Um, let's see here. Let's do a balance cover three. That's uh, a go whip. Comes down with it at the two yard line. A 24 yard pass to Mucker. I have no idea why a play that was over the middle went for 24 yards. But it is what it is. All right, so we're just going to do a goal line stack. Well, they don't get it in. Only a one-yard gain for Ricky Bell. We're going back to the well. Equid scores. Well, there you go. That is the over, folks. Another costly turnover for the Lions. And... We find ourselves down 14 points. So who had the Bucks and the over? Um, so Kent and John are looking smart right now. Of course, we are a touchdown away from making it Don and World's Worst Gamer. <laughs> so if we scored seven, they're giving up seven and a half. Um... Oh, but they picked Detroit to win. Oh, well, wait. Yeah, that would be Detroit winning plus the seven and a half. All right. Well, we'll see here. Um, the important thing is we try to get some points on the board. Now we're down two touchdowns. All right. And we have to pass. It's not like we haven't been effective. Um, let's try this comeback. We haven't done this one yet. Knocked down by Colsey. He's already got an interception today. Take a look here at Neil Co Colsey. And he's got two interceptions on the year. There's a trips out play. Danielson to Scott, incomplete. Oh, man. Danielson was doing so well, but now he's 9 for 17. 
Um, let's see. That play resulted in a interception last time we used it. Let's try this pass here to Scott in the corner. Caught by Scott. First down Lions, 18-yard gain. Where would we be without Scott? All right, let's see if we can mix it up a little bit here. Here's a Rick Kane quick go. This worked in the first quarter. You can't get open. Now it's the Sims. Sims pulls it down. He gets a 15-yard pass. Good job by Billy Sims. That gives him 47 total yards today. All right. First and 10. We're in Buccaneers territory. Let's see if we can get this pass out to Hill in the flat. Bobbled and he pulls in Woods. Takes down Hill at eight yard pass to David Hill. There's Hill's first catch of the day. All right. Second and two on the Bucks 39 yard line. Try to toss it to Sims. Rush for five yards and a first down for the Lions. That is our 12th first down. We have more first downs than uh, the Bucks, but they have all these big plays. Okay, first and 10 at the Buccaneers' 37-yard line. Let's, um, let's do this three-back dig to Freddie Scott. Maybe they'll think we're going to run it with those three backs. One of them's a quarterback, of course. Davis is going to scramble. Uh, incomplete to Scott. I never know if we're expecting too much out of him. Um, clearly, he's not a good quarterback in this game, but... Um, all right, let's try this cut back to Leonard Thompson. Pass to Thompson, makes the catch. An eight-yard gain. That's going to make it third and two. This is four down territory for us, so let's um, let's try to go with this fullback wedge where Dexter Bussey blows a hole in the uh, line here. Dieterich makes a great block. He's got plenty of room to run. A 10-yard run for Billy Sims. So first and 10. That was a good run for Billy. We needed that one. He needed that one. This has been his worst game so far, but I mean, we've been down pretty much the whole ball game. First and ten. Okay, let's um, let's try to get Dexter Bussey the ball here. Fullback power. He's got three rushes for thirteen yards. Cotney takes down Bussey as Bussey gets a four-yard gain. 7.36 left to go in the third. Plenty of time, plenty of time. But we have not shown that we can stop any, uh, you know, the Bucks' offense here. All right. Second and six from the 12. I think we need to take a shot at the end zone. Here is a pass to uh, Mike Freedy. Um, I like this play. I like Freedy as an option. The flag on the play. Encroachment on the defense. Dave stalls a five-yard penalty. That's going to make it second and one, and now we have to run it, right? Let's give it to Rick Kane up the gut. He's already scored a touchdown today. Play is whistled dead offsides, so we get it, give it right back. This is a total, this is, I have to give the game so much credit because the Lions are playing like the Lions would in real life. Um, they're actually playing right now. I don't know what the score is. They're playing the Patriots. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can't get it to our boy David Hill here. Second and six on the Buccaneers, 12-yard line. Hill's covered. Oh, out of surprise. Freddie has room to maneuver. Pass to Freedy, pushed out of bounds at the three-yard line. Danielson gets a nine-yard pass to Mike Freedy for the first down. It's first and goal. All right. Let's do a sweep to the right side for Billy Sims. Let's get the ball in the end zone here. Cuts outside, tackled by Selman. Only a one-yard gain. 
Good job by Dewey Selman. Uh, Leroy Selman, his brother, of course, is a defensive lineman in the Hall of Fame in real life, and he's not even good enough to start on this team. That doesn't make sec sense, but it's second and goal as uh, we're going to do a halfback draw here. No, we're not. I don't like that play. There we go. We're going to do the wedge. We're going to just shove it right up the gut. This is four down territory for the Lions. Up the middle, hit hard, and he breaks the plane for a touchdown. Billy gets into the end zone. That's his second touchdown today. Extra point is good, and it's 31 to 24. Okay. So, we are within the seven and a half points. So, yes, okay, so, yeah, if you have Detroit plus the seven and a half, you would win this ball game right now. So, um, let's see if we can't make that point moot by tying it up. We're going to kick off, normal kickoff here. Downs it in the end zone. Click to continue. Okay, so it's 31 to 24, four minutes to go in the third quarter. I mean, I feel like we just have to cover the run. Make them get into a passing defense, a passing uh, situation, and then have a passing defense. Quick toss to the right. And it's a fumble. Everyone falls on it. Tampa Bay gets it back on the 25-yard line. Five-yard gain for Eckwood. Um, yeah, we have to cause a play like that. We need to get the ball turned over. All right. We're going to do the Tampa 2 squeeze. We're going back to the Tampa 2 against Tampa. Toss to Eckwood. Stripped by Detroit. And they keep... That's back-to-back -back fumbles in which they've recovered. Um, why don't they just give us the damn ball? It's third and three now. Now you know, I know, we all know they're going to screen it right here. So we have to go... Um, this Tampa 2 short yardage right here. Like, everyone should be underneath... That doesn't mean they're not going to get it. Well, shoot, I like the short yardage spread here, too. I like the eight-man front. Okay, we're going to do the eight-man front. Here we go. Third and three. Williams takes a step, hand off the bell. He goes inside, brought down at the 28-yard line. Only a one-yard gain. We do stop him here. They're going to punt it. Fair catch by Arnold. 41-yard punt by Tom Blanchard. And we've got a chance here to tie it up. Oh, man. I feel like this game loves it to be close. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's start off with a run. Let's do this um, halfback trap. So we're running it to the left side. That's actually a bad idea. That's their best defender. Do we have a trap to the right? Okay, here we go. Let's do this toss to the right side. We're trying to use a little actual strategy here. Quick toss to Sims. Takes it around the right side. It gets a six-yard gain. There we go. Running it to the right. That has got to be our plan here. Okay, let's do this ace 28 halfback sweep. Get the ball back to Billy. Hand it to Sims. Gets a three-yard gain to the 40-yard line. It's going to make it third and one. All right. Um, well, we're doing the fullback wedge right up the middle. Now we're not in four-down four territory. Um, but we, we really need to keep this play moving here. They're doing a basic cover. Runs inside. First down for Billy Sims. Good job by Billy. That's 15 first downs for the Lions today. Down to the final minute of the third quarter. Okay. Um, let's, let's see if we can't surprise them. We've got bunched receivers. Let's try this little 
out pass to Freddie Scott. Scott's got 154 yards receiving today. Dumps it to Scott, and Thomas picks it off. Intercepted by Norris Thomas. Wow. That might be the ball game right there. 20 seconds to go now in the third. That's the second interception by Gary Danielson today. Um, all right. We need to make something happen here. Three-yard rush from Davis. Who's Davis? Uh, I don't know. All right, that'll do it for the third. We go to the fourth quarter. Lions are down by seven. It's second and three on the Lions' 44-yard line. Um, all right. They're in the shotgun. Trouble getting open. Pass to downfield to Giles. First down. Jimmy Giles, the tight end. 13-yard gain. It's first and 10th. The Lions, 31. Um, yeah, I have no idea what to do here. Good coverage on house. Incomplete pass. Williams, 8 for 12 for 178 yards and two touchdowns. So tough to know what they're going to do. That's why they're so good in this game. Um, we can't blitz them because they always have those plays that are under. Um, but we have to try. Well, let's do a. Let's go. Let's go the dime defense here, and a false start by Snell. Ray Snell is the right tackle. Third penalty on the box. It's going to make it second and fifteen. Like, I feel like I called the right defense, and then they, you know, it's a conspiracy, but then they go offside. Yeah, it's going to be a run up the middle. Hit hard by Lewis, tackled by Lewis. A four-yard rush for Equid. Who is Lewis? Eddie Lewis. Hey, Eddie Lewis got a tackle. Good job by him. It is now third and 11. We have to keep him to three here. I mean, yeah, we're going to send the all-out blitz. If they, if they go to a screen or a pass in the flat, we're dead. No, it's going to be a go pattern. Williams is free, tackled by Luce. It's a 17-yard rush. How can that be a set? Oh, because Davis tucks it. Oh, man. I feel like we called the right play. I wonder how many rushing yards... Williams has. There's no way for us to check it mid-game. All right, first and 10 on the Lions' 15-yard line. Um, we just need a miracle here. That's all we need. Seven, eight-yard gain for Eckwood as he breaks the attempted tackle by Luce. It is now second and two on the Lions' seven-yard line. I think we need to bring the heat. Why not? That's nah, going to be an off-tackle run. First down for Equid. Now they're unstoppable. Absolutely unstoppable. First and goal in the three. Turns up field and a touchdown. Three-yard run for Equid. That's going to make it 38-24. to 24. Arnold catches the ball on the two-yard line, takes it 18 yards to the 20. I appreciate the effort from Arnold, but maybe you just got to let those go every once in a while. Oh, man. Well, they've got us where they want us. Now all we can do is pass the ball, and we've already proven uh, with Gary Danielson today uh, his two interceptions. He's got three touchdowns, eight interceptions on the year. Um, we are a one-trick pony with Freddie Scott. Um, so they know who to double cover. As um, 
We try to get it to you. Scott, knocked down by Thomas. All right. Um, there's always the trick plays. We could always go to the trick plays. Let's see if we can't get another ball to Leonard Thompson. He's got two catches for 16 yards today. We're in the shotgun. Great catch by Thompson. Goes out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Thompson, a 26-yard pass from Gary Danielson. All right. Well, we're, we've moved it a little bit. Um, all right. Let's try this ace rollout here. The bootleg option to Ulysses Norris. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change that play after the game. Unloads to Thompson. It's incomplete. Gary Danielson, 15 for 27, 234 yards and two touchdowns. You can't tell me that is not a prototypical Lions quarterback, not named Stafford. All right. Um, let's do the slant play here. It doesn't have to go to Thompson, but Thompson is the, um, the target. If they're double covering Scott, maybe Thompson's got a better chance here. Great catch by Thompson. Six-yard play. Moving the ball along. Third and four. We are definitely in four-down territory here. Um, let's, uh, let's go to our boy, David Hill. Hill's covered. Fourth out of the pocket, right through his hands as Scott did not make the catch. Okay, it's fourth and four with nine minutes to go. You know we have to go for it here. Um, if, you're, if you have Detroit and the plus seven and a half, you're yelling at the screen to go for it. Uh, do we go to Ulysses Norris? Oh, no, we're going to bunch up the receivers here. Try to confuse them a little bit. And, um, and, uh, I mean, we have to go to our best guy, though, don't we? There we go. Freddie Scott on this trips out. Everybody knows it's going to Freddie. Here we go. D drops back. Double coverage on Scott. Feeling the pressure. It's incomplete. And we give the ball back. Oh, man. That sucks. What a bummer. What a real bummer. Now all they have to do is run up the clock. So um, we are going to do a bunch of run defenses. Wrapped up by McCray, only a one-yard gain for Jerry Eckwood, who's had a pretty damn good game today. Scored two TDs. Almost had a third one. Um, all right. Let's... Uh, Four three contain. Yeah, they're doing a goal line run. They are really trying to run the clock out. Four yard gain for Eckwood. Third and five now at the Lions forty seven. Um, I you have to believe that they're going to pass it. Um, do a basic cover two. It's a toss week, and it's only a one yard gain. So we're going to get the ball back. Are they going to go for a field goal? Nope, it's a punt. He cuts it on the four, caught the fourteen yard line. Thirty-two yard punt returned one yard. Okay, well, I guess that's something. All right. Well, I mean, there we we really just don't have a ton of options. Let's start with this three back dig. Knocked down by Cotney. That guy's been a thorn in our side all day. Second and 10 now on the Lions 15. All right, let's try this corner. Now, I mean, I don't know why they, they don't have to always go to Scott. We have other receivers. Scott's got separation, though, he makes the catch. 15-yard pass to Scott. Good job. Did he get out of bounds? He did get out of bounds. All right. Good job by Scott. That'll 
keep the chains moving here. 17 first downs for Detroit. Let's, oh man. Oh man. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. Here is the gun 59 end around. We have never tried this. Freddie Scott is going to rush it here. Let's give it a shot. Hit by Crowder out of bounds. He gets a four yard rush. Okay. Yeah. A lot of drama for nothing. All right. Here we go. Let's try this flag play. We've got five receivers. Doesn't have to get it to Scott. But he makes the catch anyway. 18-yard pass to Scott. Good job. It goes out of bounds. Stops the clock. Well, I mean, a touchdown by us is important if you're, uh, you know, if you're, <laughs> if you're a betting man. All right, let's uh, hmm. let's do a draw play. See if they're thinking pass, and we're going to run it here. Yeah, they got a deep zone. This is good for us. Flag on the play, holding by Dietrich. Dietrich. That is a big. I mean, every time we get something going, something. Uh, prevents us from completing the task. All right. First and 10. We're back on our own 42-yard line. We're going to do this uh, comeback to Freddie Scott. S Scott, by the way, big gain. First down, 32-yard pass. He's got 223 <laughs> total yards. Oh, man. How, that is amazing. Freddie Scott, he's all we got. That's our saying. All right, we're down to the Bucks 26-yard line. Let's try this out play to Freedy. He's got one catch today for nine yards. Freedy dives, can't hold on. Second and 10 on the Bucks 26-yard line. All right. Um, Halfback toss to Sims. He goes left. Gets seven yards out of it. We have to score a touchdown here. All right. Um, David Hill over the middle. Let's try it here. Looks downfield. Hill can't get open, of course. But Scott makes a big play. Touchdown, Detroit. Hey, there we go. Scott stepping up. A 19-yard pass to Scott. Extra point is good. And we are within the threshold. Oh, man. This is tough because there's still four minutes to go. That's a long time. I would love to onside kick it here. Um, I can't let the score <laughs> and the spread, uh, you know, um, sway my, uh, you know, sound football logic. We have to kick it off normally here. Um, great job by Freddie Scott. So we're going to do a normal kickoff. It's too much time left. Um, and they could still try to run the clock out. So let's do a good kick here from Murray. Come on, Murray. Caught by Thomas, turns upfield. Returns to kick off five yards to his six-yard line. Oh, we've got him pinned deep here. Okay. I'm liking the way this is going. Um, wow. All right. Uh, let's... Uh, you've got to think they're going to try to run it, right? They're going to try to run it out a little bit, especially deep in their own end zone. Here we go. Oh, they're in the shotgun. They're going to hand it to Eckwood. He only gets two yards on the play. That's a smart play um, under the circumstances. It's second and eight now. All right, let's do the 46 drop. 4-6 defense here. Tackled by Gay at the 10-yard line. Good job by William Gay. Holding him to just another two-yard gain. Third and six now. This is his first start, William Gay. He's got three tackles today. First three of the year. Bubba Baker's been so quiet. He had three and a half sacks in the first 
uh, three games, and he has not had one since then. But we're not, we haven't been blitzing. Okay, this is very important. Third and th six yards. I think we got to do the sideline prevent here. I want to blitz him, but you know it's going to come back and haunt us. It's a screen. This is a good call by us. Takes down with the eight yard line, breaks free, gets some room. A 19 yard pass to Eckwood. Well, that might have been our one chance as uh, we're approaching the two minute warning. Now we have to assume they're going to run it. There's a two minute warning there. Cuts the left, tackled by Gay, only a two-yard gain. We need to strip this ball. Good job by their offense, the Buccaneers' offense today. Only 13 passes. I would not have thought they would run it this much. Hand off to Equit, hit hard by Mendenhall, only a two-yard gain. Okay, well, we've got him in third and long here. Uh, we are definitely going to go with a run defense. I mean, I, I don't know what else to do here. Yeah. I form weak. Runs with it. Hit hard. Brought down at the 33-yard line. No gain. We're going to get the ball back with a minute 41 to go. 59-yard punt. All of a sudden, Tom Blanchard blasts one for 60 yards. Oh, man. We've got a long way to go. This is good news, though. If you had uh, Detroit plus the seven and a half. Now, <laughs> we very easily could turn the ball over for a touchdown or a field goal, but you know we have to go for it, guys. I mean, we're still trying to win a ball game here. Everybody knows it's going to go to um, Freddie Scott. So here we go. Trouble for Daniels. The pass to Scott can't make the play. Incomplete pass to Scott. All right, Scott's got 242 total yards today. All right, here we go. Second and 10, 37 seconds, intercepted by Reese, but he drops it. Oh, that would have been that would have been the worst case scenario. It's third and 10. All right, this is the ball game right here. It's four down territory, of course, but we're going with the Hail Mary. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to try one more time. We're going to try the flag play where maybe Scott can get out of bounds. Pass to Scott. He can't bring it down. And that's, we're down to 23 seconds left. Um, we need 10 yards. We have to go for the Hail Mary here. Here we go. This is the ball game. You're, I'm sh if you're out there, you're yelling, knock it down. Here we go. Puts it up. Incomplete. And that's it. Um, oh, no. Will they go for a field goal here? They wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. They'd run up the clock. Right? They would run up the clock, right? Here we go. Let's see here. Uh, goal line stack. Yeah, they're running it. Headed to Eckwood. Runs off tackle. No gain. And that should be the ball game. Oh, there's one more left. Oh, they do kick a field goal. Oh, he missed the field goal. <laughs> oh, man. They decided to go for a field goal, which would have... Just absolutely ruined it, but Yaro, uh, Garo Yupremia missed the field goal, and we're going to remain. Um, why would they do that? That makes no sense at all. We do have one shot. That's so stupid. Um, that is so, so stupid, but we have a shot at uh, tying the ball game up. We're, we're going with the uh, Hail Mary here. All right, here we go. Hail Mary. Uh, Danielson, by the way, 20 for 40. That's that's about as bad as it gets. Here we go, folks. Last play of the ball game. And he can't hold on. Incomplete. That's the ball game. Oh, come on, man. Week five. Here we go. Lions, Bucks. We do manage to stay within seven and a half. Player of the game is Jerry Eckwood. Um, let's just take a look at this real quick. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, so Don T and, uh, Sean both took a Detroit plus the seven and a half. So that does give them the wind. They also had the over, uh, so Kent and John both go to one and four. 
Uh, Don goes to two and three, and Sean now becomes four and one. So I'll update that for tomorrow's Monday morning quarterback. Let's take a look here at the total numbers. Lions had 417 total yards, 98 rushing, 319 passing. Uh, yeah, below 50%. The two turnovers, um, we did not force any turnovers. We did have um, two forced fumbles, but uh, back-to-back plays, but they didn't go our way. Big penalties against us. Just a real bummer. Um, Billy Sims had 84 total yards, so he was kind of non-existent. In this game, rushing. Freddie Scott is the man. We'll look at him real quick here. He's got, oh, it's Leonard Thompson. I'm not sure how that happened. Oh. There he is. I don't know. 37 receptions in five games for 675 yards. Good. Uh, I mean, 33 of his receptions were first down so far. That's kind of incredible, I think. Um, Charlie Weaver had the most tackles. Daryl Luce had eight. Looking at uh, Tampa Bay here. Doug Williams, nine for 13 with 197 yards passing. But the rushing yards, um, I don't know. There's no way for us to tell because we can't pull up a box score. Um, so uh, looking at the other things today, uh, Bears beat the Steelers. That's a good game. Walter Payton had 150 total yards. Seahawks beat the Raiders. Cowboys over the Redskins. Um, you can find your favorite team. Uh, anything like major? Anything crazy? Nothing too crazy. Um, in fact, I would imagine that maybe um, Danielson might have had the most passing yards today. Well, there you go, folks. We are 1-4 in four on the year. Everybody else in the Central is 3-2. and two. Philadelphia is 5-0. and oh. Uh, let's take a look at the AFC. Uh, wow, nobody's won four games. Everyone is either 3-2 and two or 2-3. Two and three. Oakland is now 1-4. They've lost four in a row. Let's take a look at the leaders. Why not? Doug Williams, 102.7 passer rating. Gary Danielson in the top 10 uh, of the NFC. Well, that's not saying much, right? Uh, Billy Sims leading the NFC in rushing. And Bubba Bakers has in sacks and also Freddie Scott leading in receiving yards. So that's pretty solid. Here's a, um, oops, come on. There we go. There's the AFC if you're curious. I feel like some of these yards have been updated. Maybe all of week five is not done yet. I, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, well, that's well, a real bummer. That's going to do it today. Congratulations to uh, the two winners. Uh, Don and Sean and uh, we have the contest don't forget for the um, the 1983 tops uh, rack pack where you can actually win something really incredible uh, so if you haven't got into that yet uh, here's the video um, for it so check that out get involved and uh, we're going to come back tomorrow with the Monday morning quarterback and uh, we'll talk about our game versus the LA Rams we'll feature that team as of right now the Rams are giving up four and a half points uh, to the Lions. So uh, until tomorrow, everyone have a great day.